viewers and welcome to Kira Fan Salon Discoveries. I am Asana Tulabel Selam. Today, King's Empire Limited is set to host journalists, bloggers, Facebook users and entertainers at the Ministry of Tourism. Let's discover this together. The returns will not be that much possible. Ladies and kids, give it up for the one and only CEO, a young man with so much love and energy for the Sudan entertainment industry, a young gentleman that has changed so many lives, that have impacted so many lives for the past 10 years. Ladies and kids, Yankees and Yankees, give it up for the CEO of King's Empire, Valentine Mark King, a.k.a. CEO Val. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy and pleased to the faces I'm seeing right now. Uh, you guys welcome. King's Empire and hi, we are so pleased and happy to host you guys here today. Well, we have been hosting various and different kind of entertainment events all around the country before for the past five years. And um, House of Stars is a reality, reality TV show that's been registered since 2012. It's something not new to us or to our idea. It's the first TV show ever registered in Sierra Leone. And, but the reason why we're bringing it up now is because King Tempa, we always want to do something so that um, the people will really understand and know the difference from other TV shows. So all these past years, we've been working on our homework, putting things together to make these events be great and to really fund these events because we understand the country we find ourselves, people, we have a very big sickness that I always say, and I always say this until it's changed. People don't support the young. They don't support you until you stand, until you fight it alone and become somebody. Then everybody wants to come and put their hand saying, Asifas, they were with you from the beginning. So I'm asking all Sierra Leonean, not just corporate companies, foreigners that own by foreigners, to change that mentality and style. Let us support the young, new events. Let's promote um, um, people. If you see, due to my experience in other African country and Europe, when a new events comes up, a lot of big company will chip in and support you. So, but we don't have that in civilian. People will run after corporate companies. Imagine, we're giving them brand, giving them promotion. But yet still, they will bluff, bluff, bluff. Even disrespect you before they give you a little pen. So, King's Empire, we always want us not to depend on sponsorship before we do an event. So we prefer to put together the entire cost of the show before we bring it out to the public. So if sponsors come in, it's a plus. Partnership come in, it's a plus. And from the registration of King's Empire, we leave spaces for partnership because we don't believe working alone. We believe collectivity with other people working together will bring us to the place we wish and want to be. So, House of Stars is a reality TV show for entertainers. All walks of life entertainers. DJs, musicians, models. As you can see here, different kind of um, actors, bloggers, sportsmen and women, dancers, 
social media influencers like the TikTokers, Instagrammers, the Facebook people, all form of social media influencers. And we cater for these people because um, I've been through a lot of things in the entertainment industry since the 90s. A lot of people don't know me. They just think um, I just enter entertainment. But no, I love entertainment so much. I was in entertainment in school. We are the first people to start rapping competition in Sierra Leone. Those days it was Grafton Community Center. We go to Bo Kenema for competition, competing with people. Before the Jimmy B bring the Paradise family ever. And I've been contributing greatly even on the first song. I did a song back then in 1999, um, Peace Don't Come, you know, for Sierra Leone when the Women War ended. You know, I was skinny, so, <laughs> and a lot of people <laughs> might not remember me. And uh, even the time of um, HIV, when HIV entered Sierra Leone, we were the first uh, entertainers that do the tour nationwide. So entertainment is in my blood. I've been in it for that long, and I'm still in it. I'm a businessman. I always say to my team, a lot of people keep asking me. I bring some uh, directors, producers, and other people from out of Sierra Leone, some cameramen, editors, some white people out of Sierra Leone from Europe some time back to work with um, us in some other events. What they learned and the advice some of them gave to me wasn't encouraging. They wanted me to leave the entertainment industry and focus on my, car on, on my business because um, of some laxity we have in this country. But because of the passion and love I have for entertainment, I'm still into it and still ready to go more deeper and more bigger than ever. So my constraint out of size is like um, what I've been through in life in entertainment. I can remember 2007, I have a song that plays in this country, a very big song. And then by <laughs> that time I was in the East. You know, uh, I went to CSA to collect some loyalties back then. And then after Southern Street, I just uh, stand by Savo Street Junction, Godrich Street, waiting for Poda Poda to go home. We don't have keke, we don't have bike back then. So it's Poda Poda. And then and it was, uh school ended, and all the girls, they were there waiting for Poda Poda too. Some of them, <laughs> some of them <laughs> mistakenly passed their eyes on me and start, oh, this is Valentine, this is Valentine. I was like, oh, I'm a star. Imagine me climbing this Poda Poda with my fans. So guys, gentlemen, ladies, I walk from Savo Street to Opgon. It's not that I am fake, but in reality, it's reality. When you become famous in other parts of the world, you have a one song that breaks through, automatically you will be capable with your revenues to buy a car. At least the first thing for every celebrity is your own car. But this is something we face in this country. This is one of our biggest biggest um, um, sickness. You will see, for example, I don't want to mention names, you will see a big star trekking or waiting for um, a motorbike in the junction. On my way coming here, I saw somebody big in the entertainment industry at Lombi waiting for a vehicle with his fans. Very big celebrity. So these are the kind of things, this is the th reason why people think we don't know how to sing music or we cannot make a good film in Sierra Leone or our TikTokers are not content creators, they don't have the concept, they don't have the creativity to make content. But that's wrong. Long time ago, I sat down with some politicians, they were saying, ah, you guys don't know how to sing. No. The time I was singing music, nobody in Nigeria can sing more than me. Me, Ansu Spad B, nobody can beat us. Conscious knowledge of yeah, we have artists back then. Who Nigeria have? Danfo Driver, are they musician compared to me or Spat B? African China, are they musician? I, is he a musician compared to Yoke Seven or Jimmy B? No, we were ahead of them. This is something I don't want people to neglect. 
The reason why they are ahead of us now is because of some certain encouragement and constraint the entertainment entertainers are going through, which is comfortability, one. I know a, pro a popular musical group, before having the kind of responsibility they have now, they were doing well in music. But when they reach a peak, they started thinking of their rentage. When you become a star, you won't live again in the Eastern, or even if you're in the Eastern, in a single room, or a room and parlor. You want to have a two rooms and, par uh, uh, and parlor, or a three rooms and parlor apartments, yes or no? A comfortable one, at least. At least. That's the first thing you will think of, and that's how you should think. Now, if you have to pay, we all see the inflation of dollar rates in this country. The cheapest house before apartment before is $2,000, three rooms and parlor, maybe $3,000, cheapest. Compare, convert $3,000 now to Sierra Leone, about 70 million, 72 million or so. You have your child, you have to send it. The moment you become a famous person, you don't put your kids in some certain school again. This is normal life. Forget it. Forget being fake or anything. This is a uh, stardom ship. This is celebrity life. Your level increase and the cost of living become more expensive for you. You don't go and beg some family members for food again. They will say, well, you're not a star. I wait till you have to. People who used to give you don't give you again. This is what we face in this part of the world. So what I, what I learned from my own days to now is you have to think of your house rent, your, your kids' school fee, food, maintain your own life, vehicle fee, maintenance, all that, a minimum, let's make it 200 million per year. It's more than that. How many shows? How many films? How much money they pay for on in Instagram or TikTok or Facebook to survive that? Yeah, how much do you make? Even the artists, the big artists, the A-list artists, how many tours they have? Yeah, only December we have tours. The last three years has been taken away the April because of Ramadan. We know this country is peaceful and holy. We respect God so much and uh, I respect that, I love that. But entertainers only make money during the Easter month and December month, November, December. How many tours? How much can you recover to sort of maintain your life for another year? So this is the reason, ladies and gentlemen, why the entertainers cannot do as expected again. I might be wrong, but as an entertainer, if um, Whiskey has a comfortable uh, life, he doesn't pay house rent, he doesn't, he has money, everything is doing, Zazu, all these boys, they're just drinking, hyping. They'll be chilling with ladies and have concert, make a, good, a big hit. But my brothers and sisters, if your brain, your mentality is not okay, your upstairs is not stable, you cannot do a good music. Forget it. Forget it. I'm a musician, I know what I'm saying. Empty back cannot stand. If you have worries, you have stress, you cannot be in the mood to act a thing. I've been there. And since I started music to now, I don't think we have five. I'm not molesting or disrespect any entertainer, but I don't think for the last 21 years we have five artists that have a house from their talent, from their career. I might be wrong. But if we can calculate, I don't think we are five. Much respect to Kman, Mr. Kman. He fought over 10 years to own a house in his career. But through this show, you can have a house in just two months. Just two months. Eight weeks. You have a house, a car, plus cash. Which will make you comfortable and stable to think about your career and work towards it for you to be a successful entertainer. So that's the reason King's Empire will decide that we should make this show for entertainers in Sierra Leone. It's actually for the Manor River Union. 
We give you a furnished house, three bedroom house, with pictures of the house. The house is ongoing. We are on roofing stage now. Before the launch in July, we believe the house will be completed because we don't want to be part of, of what people say, ah, they get my put house. So what we're going to do is before October, before the beginning of this show, the house will be ready with the keys, well furnished, the car will stand in the house, and the cash will be in the house. And then we will take you journalists back to show you the star price, and then take the money back to the account. Then the show begins. We don't want to do the show and make money from you to build your house for you, no. That's what many people have been doing. Lately, there was a big show in uh, Ghana that uh, the people don't have the star price, they put some people in the house. And um, um, the, uh, the show did not end there because the fights, the, 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 the people um, were, they were not sure if the star price is ready, blah, 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 so it created chaos. And lots of people keep uh, been doing this before, not just in Sierra Leone, making money out of you before giving you the, we have passed all the stage. Yeah, this is the house, three bedroom. There, as I'm talking to you right now, they are roofing. And the one good thing, we are not building a house with those local zinc. Huh? We're building a house with Deca zinc. Everything in the house is a, dupla, is a standard house. Standard. Deca zinc, the, the, the furniture, everything from Istanbul. Everything, the tiles. When you say, okay, look, buy a small, small tile, we have four, uh, 16 in, in cartoon. No. Tiles are four pieces in one cartoon, 60 by 60. Standard. We know they do a cheap house. Last year, this in Creole. For say, ah, this is not show going out. Give away this up. No. Not just give away, it's business too. So we're building a standard house for the winner. And the standard, yesterday in our meeting, we just decided it was a car. Now we said, okay, you know what? Let's have a SUV. A nice. RAV4 or any SUV Jeep. So it will be durable, at least keep the entertainer for a long period than a car. So you see, we keep improving things. And this is, this is because all of us, the board members, we are entertainers and we have passion. We just, we just don't look for the money making. I always tell my team, I'm a businessman. I have a ticket for the 9th of June. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'm going to China. My wife is in China right now. She's loading containers. And I'll go and load another container. The cost for this show is about half a million dollars. Do you know what half a million dollars will give me in three months? Will give me $1.5 million in three months. Maybe this show will give me that, maybe not. So it's passion. By what? Just loading deckers in PVC and tie. Just this three item. With half a million dollars, I'll make 1.5 million. And I have this on my head. So I want, us, I want people to understand that King Senpai is not doing this show because we want to take back from the country or from the entertainers or like one guy used to say, ah, that's scam. Let's see we show the all that's scam. Let's see we show the all that all sets without the guilty winning. No. No. That's why we did not put money. If you put money, maybe. I'm not saying that's what other people have been doing. They will strike a deal say, ah, this show is not out well. Without a relationship with bar. Man, we sold you one billion over. At the end of the video, you will make you win. And so, of course, he said, Thank you, do. I mean, no, 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 I'm not even And I will never be part of that either in my life. People that know me know me. So, that's why we have properties and less cash. So, even nobody in the team, maybe I'm a, I'm a perfect man, but maybe other people. So, we don't want you to even have that concept in your head. Why can't we just give a house to somebody for free? No. And I believe, I'm a believer, I believe God so much. The people, are, the people that works with me knows that. I believe God so much, I will never challenge God. There are something people don't realize. That's the biggest sin they have committed if they have done, that, done it. Which is, when God has chooses his winner, and you change it, because of you don't want to give the, the, the star price that you said. That's a challenge to God. It's a big challenge. Like, for example, Professor Koma is the winner of House of Star. Because we don't have the house, we we'll strike a deal with Abdul and give Abdul that prize. We have challenged God. King Temple will never be part of that. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
purpose of House of Stars. Let's see. We have spent, we have, as I said earlier, 21 years in the entertainment industry. We cannot be proud of 21 artists or entertainers, actors that own a house for themselves and their career. But I'm going to promise you, 21 years from today, or 21 seasons from today, 21 stars will have a house. By His grace, inshallah, in Jesus' name. In terms of the prizes, one thing you did not mention is about the moral part. Okay. We've been seeing other reality shows in and outside of Sierra Leone. Your show, are you going to allow your celebrities or your participants? Yeah, it's a reality show, it's a real life. What people are not supposed to see, are we going to see it on your reality shows? And secondly, um, you said you've already budgeted for three seasons. Those three seasons, are you going to be building house for every season? Or this first season you are going to build the house? Is that, or are you going to be buying houses or building houses for these three seasons? And maintenance um, or sustainability or improvement of the winners. We, we are seeing different winners from different reality um, TV shows. We are not proud of them. You cannot say this is uh, um, of this reality show. I'm proud of, I can't even name the reality shows. I don't want to say them because we see on Facebook every day, on Instagram, what's that you're not supposed to get from those influencers and what you are getting from them. So people actually don't believe or think about reality shows again. So what are you going to put in place to ensure that you are not going to um, build these people financially, but to ensure that they are, what should I say, they are prominent people. They are people that we can look up to say, oh yes, I want to be like this person. What are you going to put in place to ensure that you are able to mold these people so when they go out, when they speak, they speak on behalf of um, Kings and Thank you. Yeah, um, good question. First of all, let's uh, recognize the presence of um, um, Kida Fan representative, Dr. Aisa Tukake. She's not here. She's in the United States of America. The moment she was in Sierra Leone a few times ago, a few months back, um, she was in my office. The moment I explained about House of South of Arms, she said, I hope I have space. I want to be part of it. These are the kind of Sierra Leoneans we want. Please, let's clap for her. She's not here. She has been invested in entertainment hundreds of thousands of dollars without recovery, a penny. But yet, still, she wants to be part. So, um, we really appreciate her. And from King's Empire, we respect her so much. Um, to your answer, yes. What we're going to do, what we're doing, the initial plan, the first house only will be out of that estate because we, we are... Um, about to get the land from the ministry and you know the election and all. We, want, we buy a one acre land. Where are we going to build houses in this one acre? All the eight season winners will live in one estate, like an estate. Okay. We're going to build it. That's why I said the structure is well standard. To, you, as you see it, you see an estate. Every house will be the same, nice, beautiful, clean, you know? So all of them will live there. We're going to continue building this house. I said, 21 years from now, we're going to give 21 celebrity house by his grace. So that's something we want to keep doing. And the reason why we build the house now, it was tough for us huh, to get the land. I'm going to be honest with you guys. You know, land now in the city, it starts with $100,000, just the empty land. $50,000, $25,000. You know, in a show like this, you have your projects. So that's why we go, even that's bad. You don't get land below 50 million dollars again for one time lot. You understand? It's 150 million dollars for one time lot. Imagine. So this is something that um, that's why we write the Ministry of Lands. See how we can pay to have um, you know acre of land where we can build this estate. So the next 10 years, for example, we know um, we have secured this property. Okay, so um, it's really tough. That's why uh, my uh, brother here did not uh, specific the amount. At first, when we start, the first cloud that was out was star price worth of hundred thousand dollars, you know. But um, the way the dollar to go, um, people will be missing. Ah, lost a dollar down five billion. Maybe just not reach five billion. And we need to don't scam people. Uh, 
You understand? We Salomon. You know? So that's why we just remove this and just put ta 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 as the prices. You know? So although things are have been increased, I don't know how I got the last old start this was bam, eleven million five hundred thousand. Okay, for let them do the limited them rise we have bam seventeen million for one ton, for example. So um, it's cost anyway. It's huge. It's billions, seriously. So um, your next question your other question is what? Okay. <laughs> you answer that side here? Producer. Yes, I think that's a very good one to note. Um, the only thing I can say to us is that as producers of the show, we're going to ensure that every participant put up their best behavior. So we're definitely not going to tolerate any form of um, like immorality. That is, that is a no no for the show. So we discussed that and we said, for example, we're going to start to put the application form. So on the application form, there's going to be most of this breakdown of the rules and regulations as to how and what you will do while you're in the house. So once you pass that stage, if you're qualified, also you're going to sign an agreement, a, a contract with us as to how you're going to be in the house. And then Thirdly, there's going to be a rule also for the house, okay, that governs all participants. And once somebody fails to abide by those rules, they'll face the necessary penalties. So, so far, this is some of the measures yeah, that we're going to have. Yes. You're going to have um, mature people in the house for two months. It might occur, what, what I'm thinking here, you have your camera with us because other reality shows, they will not remove the camera from them. It will be focused on them. I am pleading, maybe on behalf of others who might love to watch your show, if such occur, if immediately you remove the camera from that scene instead of leaving it till they break or till they are done. I don't think we want to see such in your program. Okay, okay. I'll take your suggestion as granted. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see through it. But um, I just want you to know as well, um, it's a reality TV show. You do whatever real thing you want to do. Everything they're doing there is um, yeah. their real life, how they behave. Some people are rude. We cannot say because of you say stupid for the cost posse. I know that you come from, but they will pull you out of the house. No, no. Only if you actually are not posse, then you will be eliminated. But you can argue, you can. Uh, even go to the point of fight if you want to fight past you. It's your hand. You don't go <laughs> in the house. <laughs> you know? So it's a reality TV show. Um, we want to keep it international standard and uh, we want to keep it. Um, everybody in there is an adult. They know they are star. If you are star, you know, say for example, me are I care, look at me to assist over there. It's up to you. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> so they are stars. You know, but we'll see how we can uh, patch some certain we did it. Yeah, in a dictionary, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So, one thing I've got, yeah. <laughs>